the question is a firm faces following long run cost function we are given a long run cost function that is total cost is equal to q cube minus 40 q square plus 450 q where q is the quantity average cost will be at its minimum when the options are when q is equal to 10 and average cost is 20 q is equal to 20 ac is equal to 50 q is equal to 10 ac is equal to 40 or when quantity is 10 and average cost is 10 so we will see what would be the correct option okay so we are given a long run uh, total cost function that is tc is equal to q cube minus 40 q square plus 450 q so the question asks us about the average cost now average cost is simply total cost divided by output that means this is q cube minus 40 q square plus 450 q and to this we divide q okay or uh, this q will be divided to each of these terms i can write it like this q cube our q minus 40 q square divided by q plus 450 uh, q divided by q here it is 450 okay so this comes out to be 1 q will get cancelled we are left with q square minus here also 1 q will get cancelled with q square so we are left with 40 q plus this yes, q and q gets cancelled we are left with 450 this is our average cost now we have to see the level of output where our average cost will be minimum now if we can show graphically what does this mean let us draw the graph on this axis we have the quantity and we have average cost here okay now what is our average cost average cost will look like this uh, something like this okay this is our average cost go now when will uh, this average cost be at minimum so minimum point would be this very point at the bottom and at the minimum point what would be the slope of this uh, average cost it is uh, slope should be equal to zero that means if we draw a tangent on this point okay so the slope would be here zero because this tangent would be parallel to x axis and we have slope equal to zero that means at this point our average cost would be minimum okay that means how do we uh, do this we just take the derivative of average cost with respect to quantity and set it equal to zero to find the value of q that means uh, average cost will be will be at its minimum minimum when the derivative of average cost with respect to quantity is equal to zero okay so at this point i will write d a c divided by d q is equal to zero so differentiating this uh, a function with respect to q so derivative of q square is 2q so we can write 2q minus derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 40 and derivative of constant is 0 and it is all equal to 0 here and solving we get 2q is equal to 40 or q is equal to 40 divided by 2 transposing this uh, will get divided so here it is 20 that means when our output level is 20 our average cost would be minimum and what would be the average cost now average cost when q is equal to 20 we just insert the value of q is equal to 20 in our average cost function in this function so we have in place of q we have 20 so we have q square this is 20 square minus 40 into the value of q is 20 plus 450 
okay now 2020 20, uh, is 400 minus 40 into 20 is 800 plus 450 now 400 minus 800 would be minus 400 plus 450 now minus 400 plus 450 this comes out to be 50 that means our Q would be 20 at the minimum of the average cost and at that point our average cost would be 50 so the correct option would be this option the second option i hope i make myself clear thank you